And this song this is, that song doesn't go as hard when Randy Orton's not coming out. Man, we're live, bro. I hate dealing with this technical difficulty bullshit, man. I was dealing with fucking StreamYard for like 20 minutes. And because I know like the lagging, that's not gangster. That's not professional. That's not cool. Especially when you have Cartier's on and you got, look at this. I got a new chain. Look at this. 31 gram silver. So if you're going to have Cartier's on and you're going to have a $100 Calvin Klein sweater, and a 31 gram silver chain on, you can't have your fucking stream buffering. It's not gangster. It's not cool. You know, so I was dealing with StreamYard and I'm not, I'm not technical. You know, so I just press buttons and I make money. I need to get some, I got to get some fucking kid from Bangladesh to do this production for me because I was dealing with them for like 25 minutes and I know I'm late. I apologize. But at least now our shit's not going to freeze anymore. You know what I'm saying? Cause like I said, we can't we can't be streaming. Like that's just a lot of a lot of the perks of the show is like me moving around with my hands, gyrating, you know what I'm saying? And for it to kind of keep buffering, we had to get that shit out of the way. So anyway, Max Long TV episode 22. A uh, big show today. Big show, massive show. One of the biggest shows, arguably, that I've ever done in my life. Because today, there's a lot of updates. A lot of updates. Uh, a lot of things going on. A lot of... Tomorrow. Tomorrow's dim, baby. The dim stimulus. The fucking dim stimulus is tomorrow. You know what I mean? So, we're going to talk about that. We're going to talk about Verichain Testnet. Because Verichain Testnet now has over like 6 million users on Testnet. And this time, 6 million is a real number. You know what I'm saying? Like 6 million, for real. So that's massive. And we're going to talk about ways that you can get a little bit of allocation for Verichain. Because this new thing that these, like, threaders have been doing lately with, like, these airdrops. These airdrop threads where it's like, oh, time, five minutes, price, zero. Like, that's just bullshit. All of it is bullshit. You know what I'm saying? Like bear chain, believe it or not, I'm sad to say. If you don't have a bear, it's not looking good for you. You know what I'm saying? Like that's just four Ethereum now. Almost five Ethereum for, for like a bit bear. You get what I'm saying? So we had your time. We've been shilling this since like August 2021. You know what I'm saying? So, but it's not all doom and gloom. You know what I'm saying? It's not all doom and gloom. Uh, Daddy Max Long is going to show you a couple ways that, you know what I'm saying, you can get your feet wet. Big partnership with Bear Market NFT, the number one NFT marketplace on Bear Chain. That we partnered up with to do a free mint. All you had to do was send me an address and subscribe to my YouTube channel, which is funny because I got over like 200 DMs of motherfuckers sending me their uh, address, but only I got 27 subscribers. So some of y'all lying. A lot of y'all are lying. But it's cool. It's free mint. You know what I'm saying? Uh, nothing crazy. Just want to get you guys a feet wet because telling people to like bridge and go and do test net like isn't enough. I realize you need to have a little carrot at the end of the stick. You know what I'm saying? So hopefully this is the carrot at the end of the stick for you guys. You know what I'm saying? Just add it to your rav up, to your ravi. Um go over there at the faucet they're giving you free tokens anyway so it's nothing crazy you know what i'm saying so we're gonna talk about that we're gonna talk about dim 101 yo dim modular money baby like this is gonna be one of the craziest uh like airdrops in like god knows how long you know what i'm saying like god knows how long this is this one this one's gonna be major this one's gonna be major rooney so we're going to talk about that and actually talk about it like deep because this is this is like just like bear chain with proof of liquidity. That's like a zero to one moment in terms of like crypto and blockchain is going to the next level pioneering. Dim is another one of those like very innovative, very next level, next step, pushing the whole industry forward type of tech. 
So we're going to talk about that. We're going to go into that. Uh, Bitcoin puppets. Bitcoin puppets, man. Like, I can't say enough about Bitcoin puppets. You get what I'm saying? Because um, this year, my goal for 2024 is each month to hit on like one game changing asset. Like each month, that's my goal, right? Like that's really my goal. Like each month trying to hit on one A1 asset and Bitcoin puppets was like grand slam. Like they have a certain aura about them. You know what I'm saying? Like there's a certain vibe that Bitcoin puppets possess. And the community also has that like retarded cult like energy that you need for an NFT. And honestly, you need it for like damn near every crypto community. You need to have that type of retarded cult energy. And they have it like they have it 10 out of 10. And then base season. Base season might be cooking. You know what I'm saying? Like there's. There's something cooking over there on base. Some some memes are going crazy. Some alts are going crazy a little bit. Velodrome and Aerodrome just got listed like officially, officially on Coinbase, like literally like an hour ago. So we should hopefully see some traction when it comes to those tokens. And NFTs, you know what I'm saying? I'm a big NFT guy. Uh, I think there's a lot of information asymmetry when it comes to NFTs that you really need to spend a lot of time, get rugged a lot, miss a lot for you to really understand like you know, there's a secret sauce, like there's a little recipe for you to hit on, on NFTs. And I think those Mochimons, those like cute, cute little cats, same artist, by the way, as Pudgy Penguins. Like that's, that was like, they were already cute to me. Like that's something like even your girl would like if y'all had girlfriends, like your girlfriends would like that type of NFT. You know what I'm saying? It has, it has like mainstream, it has like mainstream acceptance the same way Pudgy Penguins, you know what I'm saying? Because believe it or not, one of the best branding metrics, it's not gangster, it's not gentleman, it's not feminine, it's just cute. Cute is like the best branding, you know what I'm saying? And they have like those, those, those little, those little bastards are, are cute, very cute. So uh, floor ripped a little bit. You know what I'm saying? It went from like 0.4 yesterday to like 0.6, but it's like 0.55. But if base season is, is real, those those are going to be like one of those like 5, 6x type of plays on base. You know what I'm saying? So we're going to talk about that. Um, let's just fucking dive in, man, because I know I'm late. I had to deal with that technical bullshit. You know what I'm saying? My face looks so tiny on the screen. You know what I'm saying? My face looks small. I don't like, I don't like my face bigger. But at least it's not freezing, right? So you can't, can't fucking win them all when it comes to this stupid ass tech. Anyway, Vera Testnet, right? Let's hop in this. Let's hop in this. Verachain.com, right? So it's very smooth. You know, for a testnet, like for a testnet to be this non-problematic when it comes to tech issues like that's that's a great sign because they've been flooded with users since day one they've been flooded with users you know what i'm saying so let's hop in view careers they're hiring you know what i'm saying i don't know i don't know what position you could work with these dudes like you get what i'm saying like but how do i where the fuck is testament I hate using this computer, man. Like, they, those that fucking piece of shit taxi driver stole my laptop. So I've been having to use this, like, Boomer Windows laptop. We are currently performing system-wide updates. Our services will be temporarily unavailable. We'll be back up shortly. Yo, it's not a good look. Smokey, not a good look, bro. Not a good look. Well, let's see if that shit is, not, is accurate or not. Let's click on some buttons. Click on this. So apparently it's active. You just can't do nothing, right? But anyway, like, it's cool. We're not going to do anything. Anyway, I just want to give you guys, like, a aesthetic of how it looks. So this is VEX. This is, like, the native DEX. So these are the tokens you have. Vera, Honey. It's like the worst so back pull. You create a pull with these little assets. 
Honey is like uh, the, the stable. The tri token model, the triangle offense. Shout out Phil Jackson. Like, this is game changing stuff, bro. You know what I'm saying? So, swap tokens. They got wrap Vera, Vera. Let's just see for shits and giggles how much is one Vera worth? $628. Right? It's dollars, right? Six hundred one Vera. That's crazy. Because yo, let's say they just airdrop like a hundred tokens per like per Vera, right? That's a lot of that's a lot of money. <laughs> yo, hundred hundred times six, and that's right now. That's test net numbers, bro. Yo, that's crazy. Yo. <laughs> That's only if they give us a hundred. You know what I'm saying? Like they better give us more. Smokey, don't let these numbers go to your head, bro. It better be at least a thousand. Straight up. So that's Vera. That's the main token. Then they got VGT, which is Vera, Vera governance token. Um, we really need to get someone on this show to break it down, but this is a one-man show. So I'm happy you guys are gonna have to deal with me, and I'm gonna have to Break it down as best as I can, but just know price is going high. That's really all you got to know. Like, people try to do all these mental gymnastics and try to jerk themselves off with reading docs. Did you read the docs, bro? Docs, docs. Did you read the docs? Bro, is price going up or not? You know what I'm saying? Like, that's the name of the game. Is price going to go up or is it not going to go up? If it's going to go up, it's good docs. Tech is great, innovative. If price is not going up, yo, what's going on? Rug, scam, can Des do something? That's the name of the game. Welcome to crypto. You get what I'm saying? So, Vera, Vera, Vera. So, they got Vera. They got Honey. They got Rap VTC. They got VD Honey and A Honey. I don't know what these two are. What is Honey? At the end of the day. So, man, that's crazy. Like, just 10. 10 Vera would be six racks. But they better give us at least 100. Yo, 100 Vera? Yo, you, you can't tell me nothing. Because I got, I, got, I got more than one, I got less than five Veras. That's all I'm going to say. You know what I'm saying? I got more than one, I got less than five. So I get 100 for each. And they're all bit Veras. By the way, you know what I'm saying? They're literally all bit bearers. So if I get like three, four hundred Vera, Vera tokens and they're trading, and this is again, this is key detail, bro. This is just test net prices. You know what I'm saying? Like that's test net prices. It might go down, it might go higher, but why would it go down? You get what I'm saying? Like that's damage. That's big damage. That's major damage. So that's Vex, right? This is you want to just come here. You get the you hit on the faucet. It'll give you some tokens, like some testnet tokens. Do a little swaps, create a little pool, make a digital footprint on the testnet. You know what I'm saying? And I think that's the most logical way. You know what I'm saying? Not whatever these homosexual threaders are saying about doing whatever they're saying. Because I don't read that. I don't read. The, I don't read their shit. But like this, this is the most concrete way that you can position yourself for some type of incentivization when it comes to the Vera airdrop is come on here and press some buttons. So that's the that's the Vex, right? Uh, the Honey. So let's read. Let's do a little reading real quick. Yeah. So. Honey is a stable coin that's integrated into the bear chain eco. Utilize Honey for seamless trading, ensuring value consistency. So like, it's like a stable coin, right? Bear chain native stable coin. Then, right? So it's like lending. Not only we know the game, brothers. You know, we know the game. It's not our first rodeo, right? So you come here, supply your asset, and you know what I'm saying? Venn balances are currently being migrated. Previously supplied as the assets will reappear soon. <laughs> Excuse me. I just had a nice little like 
nice little dinner. It's like 11.30 here. You know what I'm saying? It's 11.30. Yo, by the way, there's a lot of lesbians in Spain. Like a lot of lesbians. Some of them are attractive. You know what I'm saying? It's not like the Portland, um, you know, American East Coast lesbians. Like some of these lesbians are hot, but you also have those like butch, those butch type of lesbians. Anyway, now that you've got some, yes, yeah, so you come here, swap, swap on Vex, uh, press some buttons on 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 that. Come over here, press some more buttons, lend some shit, wait, get you some honey, right? Get you some honey, and then burps, aka perps. You know the drill. Come over here. Yes, whatever. I agree. Like I have a fucking choice. Uh, perps powered by proof of liquidity. Start trading. You know the drill, baby. You know the drill. You get what I'm saying? All of this is just, again, to get you a digital footprint, right? You want a digital footprint. You want a digital footprint. You want to uh, get you some positioning in this. You know what I'm saying? Because clearly, if you don't have a Vera, then you didn't take me seriously because I've been screaming. Screaming, shouting, banging my my hand on my desk, trying to get you guys to get some pairs when they were like one ETH. You know what I'm saying? Like, and in retrospect, that little video I did, bear, Max Long Fuds Bear Chain, that was the bottom. Like that was literally the bottom. So literally been up only since then. And this is gonna be literally like, don't listen to what anyone else has said. If you don't have a bear NFT, maybe get a honeycomb. Probably you'll get something when it comes to like ecosystem airdrops, maybe. Again, nothing confirmed. This is the only thing like logical that you can like, you know, open a shell case you can count on it being like legit is coming on testnet and pressing some buttons straight up. So come here, long some shit, sort some shit. It's not real money. It's a testnet token, so you don't got to worry about getting liquidated. And VGT station, what's this? Engage directly in the governance... Leverage, BGT, let's check this out. I don't think I've checked this one out yet. Damn, they gotta make you do this every fucking time. Global Gone, is this like a validator? Let's see, let's see. Where can I check out? Oh, they have the names. I wonder if it's like. I wonder if it's like uh, I can see like Veridrome, for example, on here. That would be kind of gangster. It doesn't have it by names. Interesting. Yeah, so you can come here and you can allocate some of your VGT. V VGT is, like I said, Vera governance token. That's cool. There's a lot of dope shit with Kodiak, Infrared. Um, if you can somehow find a way, if they have validators and then they're doing something where like, if you stake with their validator, you can get like an airdrop, that would be pretty cool. But I haven't heard any, anything about that. I'm just talking out loud. Bear Trail. What is this like the this is like the address? It's a cool name and the branding. Like I always said, the branding is a one, and branding in crypto is like forty percent of the job. You know what I'm saying? You get your branding right, people are gonna flock to you. You cultivate that that community, and then literally just don't fuck it up and give us you know make us rich. And that's it. And then you're gonna be top one hundred on CoinGecko. So good stuff, man. Branding, like I said, a one branding. Price is going up on the NFTs. Like, VitVirus are like 5 ETH now. Like, 5 ETH, that's like 10K. That's like a regular normie's like six months salary. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, you come here, paste your wallet address, click here to prove you're not a bot. 
drip tokens you'll press you do little like captcha shit and then within like five minutes you'll get something in your in your wallet now with ravi you'll ravi's added like a test net so it'll just show up as a as a network on your wallet and then you just go to vex press a couple buttons and go from there you know uh they're saying mainnet should be end of q1 sometime in q2 so time's ticking boys like time is ticking so this is going to be one of those moments like you feel the hype right now with dim right you can feel the energy the momentum the excitement with dim with Verachain is going to be like that on steroids like no one like dim because two months ago no one knew what the fuck dim was you know what i'm saying maybe listen to that like a month ago like a month ago nobody knew what dim was now it's talk of the town now everybody's a roll-up expert you get what i'm saying vera this has been cooking this has been cooking for a while for a long for a long time so all that pent up retarded energy in that discord has been waiting to just explode you know what i'm saying it's gonna it's gonna explode all over your face so this time is coming time is coming so that's a little vera let's scroll the twitter Scroll to Twitter because this, hold up, Kodiak, this is probably like Veridrome, those are my guys. You know what I'm saying? Like those, those, those are good guys. But the Kodiak, Vera, Yeet, Infrared, like triangle offense. Yo, and by the way, why why do you guys never reach out to me for like seed? Do you not see the chain? Do you not see the Cartiers? Like, reach out to me for seed, bro. Like, stop disrespecting me Max Long. Like, it's not gangster. But anyway, Kodiak raised 2 million. I would have gave y'all like like 10% alone. So Kodiak raised, this is game changer, brothers. Very changed native liquidity hub. You know what I'm saying? Very changed native liquidity hub. This is gonna this is gonna go crazy. These guys have been cooking and they got incubated. They got incubated by Vildevera. Vildevera is the we talked about this on, on the last stream. This is the ecosystem's like like handcrafting, nurturing projects. So when you're investing in these type of projects, you know that you have the entire chain's like stamp of approval. You get what I'm saying? So these are the best type of products to invest in. And this one just again raised two million from a bunch of randos. So let's let's read let's read this a little bit. Let's read the docs. Today we're gonna be doing some docs. Today we're gonna be cooking. Today we're gonna be cooking. All right. So introducing Kodiak Verchain Native Liquidity Hub. Today, Kodiak innovative decks that brings contrary liquidity. So if you if you listen to me about Thena, you know Thena and Algebra, like these guys were the were the pioneers of contrary liquidity. So you know what that is. It's pretty much maximizing your liquidity, being efficient with your liquidity. You get what I'm saying? So that's what these guys are doing. Foundational building block for Lick on Bear Chain, embodying the core principles of modularity and do modularity. All you have to do is add modul modular, modularity, modularism to any doc PowerPoint that you're doing. And just having that word alone, you're going to raise like a million. If you put modular, ZK, uh, roll up, data availability, people are going to be like busting through doors to give you money. Just by me saying that four words, like simultaneously right now, I just got like four messages from VC, Silicon, Pajit's. That's going to give you money, straight up. So Kodiak is designed to be composable and allows for the seamless integration of partner protocols from day one. All right, so this is going to be like the fucking building block of liquidity. This is the building block of liquidity on the proof of liquidity chain. That's bullish. That's bullish as fuck. Oh, my God. So what it is, right? Decentralized exchange, automatic liquidity manager, Integrated incentive layer, 
tapping into Veritarian's POL mechanism to sustainably incentivize liquidity for Kodiak Islands, no code token deployer factory, and facilitating the permissionless deployment of new tokens. So they're going to be on Launchpad as well. That's crazy. Look at this nice little, nice little infographic right here. Kodiak is the only DEX incubated by Verichain's build a bear accelerator. The only DEX with that, with the Verichain stamp of approval. We believe Verichain's position to debut as a leading layer one. Highly performant EVM, POL. Yes, we've heard all these nice little buzzwords before. Initial set of whitelisted applications can start with on-chain. Oh, so they're going to have perps as well. Wait, hold up. Let me read this again. Let me make sure. The initial set of whitelisted applications starts with the chain-owned DEX perpetual futures exchange and lending platform, but will quickly open to any smart contract deployed on the chain. We work closely with the BearChain Foundation to ensure that Kodiak's islands are compatible with BearChain's POL and its POL mature sweet BGT will flow to Kodiak. Kodiak and Bex are not competitors, but rather complementary to one another. It's a gangster. But Bex does not have her concentrated liquidity cooked, shots fired which enables higher capital efficiency and flexibility for liquidity providers. Man, the bear, that's why, that's why, like I was saying last stream, we shouldn't be calling like, like we know like bear bearish. We need a new term because bears are powerful. Look at this powerful, mighty, like fucking, you know what I'm saying? Like vril, a lot of virility in this beast, in this animal. And our bears are cowards, pussies, soft. You know what I'm saying? So we need to start calling like bears cockroaches because it's disrespectful to bears to call them bears. So coming weeks, we will release public documentation and share more exciting news. Kodiak is not live. Don't get scammed. It's good stuff, man. This is fucking damn good stuff. You know what I'm saying? Like... This is one of those ones that if you're early, you're gonna do damage. You get what I'm saying? So that's Kodiak. And then the last one that I wanna talk about real quick is infrared. Is it infrared? Yo, is it infra? Yeah, it's right here. Again, these guys keep raising money and they don't call Max Long. All right, let's see if they have any docs out on this because this is going to do damage. Or is it just this is this might just be raised? Infrared is the flagship application of POL. Application reimagines liquid staking. Oh, liquid staking. You know that's one of the hottest narratives already. So we got the, the only DEX approved by Verichain team, by the Velda Ver team, incubated by the Velda, by the Ver team in Kodiak. And we got another Velda Ver uh, incubator project that's liquid staking. Like those two, that combination that we've seen, we've seen this combination for the last like two years. That's like a championship combination. Like that's that's Kobe and Shaq. Like this is Kobe, like a Dex and the LST, that's Kobe and Shaq. You know what I'm saying? So you don't got to go too far. This is the one. So follow these two and get you a Vera if you can. And if not, like I said, add Vera testnet to Ravi and press some buttons. That's like, that's what you got to do. So. That's Vera for you with a nice little test net, nice little update on what's going on. Now let's go to Dim.